Hey there everyone, I just want to give a quick progress update video on version 3.2 of the Community Theme Creator. So uh, let's get into it. So I discovered a performance issue by using this test view as I was testing wheel items with uh, videos in them. And the overall app performance um, issue came from two places. One, um, through this modifier, custom images. And I don't have any to show here, so let me just switch back to another uh, theme. Okay. So <clears throat> after rendering a series of custom images, and by the way, I've improved the performance of the render time. So that was one. But once you have actually completed uh, uh, a render cycle, um, either for all platforms, all games, uh, one game, one platform, doesn't matter. And then you return to views. <clears throat> and in this case, I was in my 3.2 test theme, specifically the wall view with multiple videos being displayed at the same time. Um, the performance of the videos was degraded. Um, like a, a single frame or a couple of frames per second. So that was one issue. And the other one was, and this is the more common one, where you potentially would be hopping into Theme Manager, uh, switching between themes if you're working on different themes, or if you're referencing one theme and copying into uh, a theme in development, for example. Um, so this is a very common option to use. Just by exiting uh, the theme manager would also cause massive application uh, performance issues. Um, so essentially in, in both areas what was actually going on was this, uh, a couple of background processes that, uh, that run and um, they were still running. Even though the, you had uh, completed or exited those, uh, those functions, um, they were still running in the background, chewing up valuable CPU resources. So anyway, those are fixed in, in this build uh, that's out on Patreon, all right? Um, but while I was at it, there were a couple of other things that I noticed too. <clears throat> and let's see. Um, yeah, I can, I can do it from here. So one of the fixes, another fix, was views. And if you specify the games, the games view that you wanted to go into uh, when you first load up the theme, if you had specified vertical wheel one, it would not accept that as the default. And I believe it would, in big box, when you launch your theme, it would go into the text list view if there was one. Um, so anyway, I've, I've fixed that. It's just a naming convention difference. It's not actually vertical wheel one um, in in big box. When you do the override, it's it's something completely different. Anyway, so that's that's been corrected. That was just a little one. Um, and then while I was at it, and this is this is a change. Um, so as we're in the actually, let me make this uh, wall view a little bit bigger here. trying to think of eight would have done it 
All right. Just so that we've got something a little bit bigger here. We can see what's going on. And we'll go into wheel item templates. And for wall view, it was using this one. I'm going to clone it. Put it here. And we have a frame, a dock, and then the video inside the frame. So what I want to do, uh, I think this, when it's not selected, it makes it darker if memory serves. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to remove that. Okay. So what I want to do is go to effects. I'm going to say monochrome. And let's give it uh, we'll give it that color. But we're going to add a condition. And I believe the color here is set to transparent, which is perfect. Go down to say wheel item selected is yes so by default if you're not select if the if the wheel item is not selected it's going to look like this but when it is selected it's going to be transparent which will give you that so i went in and i updated the uh, hlsl shader um, to recognize um, an alpha channel set to zero and if it's set to zero it won't bother applying the um, monochrome effect all right so um, that allows you to essentially switch it on switch it off uh, in various in various methods obviously when I implement the animations you could um, uh, fade from transparent into that color or fade back you know, and by doing so, we'll either bring it into full color or make it monochrome. It all depends on what you want to do. So um, I figured that would be uh, uh, a pretty cool thing to have to be able to switch it on and off. All right, so let's see it in action. I've saved it. I'm going to apply it to the War Games view. Now we'll go back to the view. <clears throat> And as you can see, non-selected or unselected are uh, monochrome. Selected is in full color. So again, you know, more choices. I figured while I was uh, I was in there, it was worthwhile adding this quick change. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, but anyway, that. That's it. That really concludes the the the, um, the update video. Um, uh, I'm I'm I hope I'm out of the 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 major fix issues at the moment, um, so I can progress with uh, what's intended for 3.2. All right. So anyway, that's a quick update video for you, um, and uh, hopefully I'll have more to show on the uh, the remaining remaining items for um, uh, 3.2 build. Okay, take care.